trees on this mountain have been cut down. I wonder what happened here. Forging iron leads to deforestation. It takes a lot of wood to refine metal. Metal? Yes. It's much sturdier than stone. Metal is found in mountains or stones. People dig it up and repurpose it for their own convenience. In doing so, many mountains have been destroyed and forests have been cut down. No. Is there any way to stop this? Without it, we wouldn't have hoes to dig, axes to chop trees or sharp arrowheads. Then fields can't expand, crops can't be harvested, and hunting would be harder. People would suffer, reducing their population. If you think that's okay... But we can't allow this to happen just because of that. Yes, this is a very sad sight. It may be natural for the gods to be enraged. Gods... Kintaro, you asked me why the gods are enraged by Kagamitsu Kuribe village. I did. This is the answer. The citizens of Mizuho lived peacefully without fighting. They honored their ancestral spirits and lived with nature in the myriad gods. But then one day, people started to argue. They destroyed mountains, forged metal, and spent their lives at war. And on top of that, they forgot about respecting their ancestral spirits. That's why the myriad gods are angry at all the citizens of Mizuho. Okay, I get it. Is there anything that we can do? The trees in exchange for iron. That is not acceptable. Kintaro, look! Someone! Help me! Are you okay? What happened? I, I resisted! <laughs> <laughs> you! Why'd you run away? We're in the middle of a conversation! Who's that? He's the Red Oni of Ibuki Mountain, and the master smith of this Tataraba. Hey, you! Why are you being so rough? What? Who the hell are you guys? Outsiders should keep their mouths shut! It doesn't matter who we are. We can't let you get away with this! Bring it on! I'll beat you up, too! Guys. Yeah. The enemy has the high ground. Please be careful. A little disadvantage isn't so bad. Let's take them on.
This shall suffice. Katsuragi, this isn't like you. Uh, old hag, I'm gonna kill you! Uh, this is 
He's completely possessed by an Aramitana. Then, we don't need to hold back. <laughs> it's a treasure. We should hurry. Lady Kaguya, show this man the mirror. I just have to show it, right? Huh? Mirror? I'll break this damn mirror! Why? Why am I... I destroyed everything, abused everyone. It's okay. You'll be fine. This is... the power of the mirror? Yes. The user's spiritual power returns the sanity of the one who looks into it. How can this help calm the mountains? Someone powerful like Lady Kaguya can bring sanity back to the enraged gods. Old Lady Hanasaka? You're back to normal, Katsuragi. What was I... I only had violent thoughts. I knew I wasn't feeling right. You must have been possessed by an Aramitama. It's not your fault. I'm sorry. You guys took care of me, but I... I don't know how to repay you. Don't thank me. She is the one you should be thanking. Hmm. 
Nice to meet you, Katsuragi. Old lady, who is this princess? Lady Kaguya, the third daughter of Lady Tsukuyomi, queen of the Fuji Nation. Lady Kaguya, third daughter of the queen? The, the, the actual princess saved me? Princess! My princess! <laughs> Thank you! I'll never forget this. Even if I reincarnate, no matter what I become. <laughs> Lady Kaguya is going to Izumo. Since you know the area, I want you to escort her. Leave it to me! I'll guide you anywhere, whether it's Izumo or not! I bet my subordinates would be better off if I go. Plus, it's not like I have any relatives. What's wrong? Is something bothering you? Oh, no. It's just that my subordinate also went insane at Oi Mountain. Is that person possessed, too? I don't know. One day, he started treating the people around him differently. He's normally a really kind-hearted person. All right. Let's go to Oe Mountain together and save him. That's great! I'm gonna place my trust in you, princess. Anyway, let's go to Oe Mountain. All right!
Is this where the copper mine that your friend manages is located, Katsuragi? Yeah. He's a delinquent who wandered to Ibuki Mountain. He was so small then. He was a sweet kid who liked to play in the water. But one day, he just left. He has green eyes and hair color like mine. Maybe it was because of our looks. Green eyes? After that, I started hearing rumors about the Blue Oni of Oe Mountain. Rumors about a greedy mine owner who keeps most of the miners' earnings. They say he's a blonde miner with green eyes who came from Ibuki Mountain. Could he be... Yes, Princess, it has to be him. I was in tears when I heard it. I thought he had become a crooked mine owner. That's when I got this urge to just hit and punch everything around me. And while you were in despair, you became possessed by an Aramitama. Oh, lady, what's this Aramitama thing that possessed me? Quiet. Someone's coming. Master Blue Oni, please forgive me. If you take any more, I can't survive. Don't be ridiculous. You told me you were fine with this percentage. But now, you're saying you can't live on it? Please! I beg you! Maybe this job isn't for you. I don't see a future for you here. Wanna quit? No! Please don't kick me out! Fine. But you better work your ass off. It beats starving, right? <laughs> Wait! Stop piling up your sins like that, Ow! Katsuragi? What are you doing here? I heard the rumors about the Blue Oni of Oe Mountain, so I came here right away. You used to be a kind person. Don't you remember? You're smothering me as usual. If you keep interfering, I'll kill you. Why have you become so violent? Could you be possessed by an Aramitama too? Let's get him first, Kentaro! Yeah! <sighs> what are you talking about?
It's a treasure. You don't have 
have to worry. I know what... Then I want you to go back peacefully. No, I can't! Not until I get your sanity back! I too was able to change by meeting the princess. What is he talking about? He's jumping too far ahead, as usual. Aramitama? An Aramitama? What's that? You're not like Katsuragi. You're confusing me even more. Why do you think I got away from that rough old man? You're right. You're not like Katsuragi. <laughs>
treasure. to the mirror! Mirror? How is it? Katsuragi. I don't think he's insane. He's sane, yet he was still violent to others? Yeah. You got a problem with that? My gosh, Ow! What's gotten into you? <laughs> You're one to talk. You were the feared Red Oni of Ibuki Mountain. Yeah, that's right. But I was able to return to my senses thanks to this princess. So join me and fix things together. Let's get back the lives we once had. I'm sick of that life. Katsuragi, you're wrong about something. You should take off his mask. Don't! Huh? What are you talking about, Kintaro? I made a mistake? This clearly is Owl, the puny little kid who used to wet the bed! No! Stop it! Hmm? 
Uh, Ow! You? Yes. Ow is a girl, Katsuraki. What? S since when? From the beginning. You mistook me for a boy for so long, I ran away. So that was the reason. See? Your eyes. Everyone stares at me. My hair, my, my body, with that look. You must have been suffering for a long time. <laughs> a girl like you wouldn't understand me. People have always looked at me like I'm no good. And people still will. Don't worry. If anything bad happens, Katsuragi will be there for you. Us too. So please, come with us. You guys? Why? Because we don't want to leave you alone. That's right, Owl. Let's go with the princess and forget the past. I don't mind you coming with us, but no more playing in the water. <laughs> we welcome you, Green-Eyed Aome. You guys are... suffocating me. It's fine. I'll go. I don't even know where you're going, but I'm going too. Great. I'm Kaguya, the daughter of Queen Tsukuyomi of Fuji. Nice to meet you, Owl. It's Aome. Wait, a queen's daughter? Princess? What have I gotten myself into? Uh, Ow is a girl? Well, back then, I... Katsuragi, hurry up! We're going to leave you behind. Okay!
Welcome. Thank you for coming. The shrine is... I understand. The shrine is this way. Thank you. The sh Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. 